Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be getting into this look. I'm so excited because I just love, I love the way this hair and makeup turned out. It's so cute. <laughs> Plus I haven't done a bang in so long and I was just like feeling these bangs today. So if you wanna see how I got this look then just make sure to keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell. That way you get notified anytime that I make a new upload. So let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. We do have a hair sponsor for today's video. I'm collaborating with Icy Hair Company today. A shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. They sent over this super cute body wave wig. We're going to be styling her up, you know, making her look all cute and whatnot. Um, I'm going to leave all of the information for this hair down below in the description box, but it is a body wave texture and it's in 22 inches. This is kind of like what the hair looks like. I already plucked it and she's ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and install her first. I've been using a black wig cap these days and I'm here for it. One of you guys gave me this tip in the comments before and I was like you know what that's kind of a genius idea because you guys already know like I am um I'm a simple thing when it comes to installing these wigs you know I'm not all that skilled in the bald cap method if you will and um you know I just uh I enjoy keeping things simple because if I do not then you know I'll look like a hot mess so yeah <laughs> when I do have some parting going on in my hair I just make sure to use a good lace tint that's slightly lighter than my skin tone to kind of combat the shadow like the darkness of the wig cap as always I'm laying this wig down using my favorite lace adhesive from Evan it's the supreme hold one in the black can this stuff is amazing it's my go-to lace adhesive I love it so much because it washes off with water it doesn't pull at your edges if you remove it correctly that is if you don't remove it correctly you can have like you know that mishap with it pulling at your edges but as long as you remove it correctly and you follow directions you should have no issues I've been using the ebon lace adhesives for like a good minute now and I've never had an issue with any of them pulling at my edges but you just have to make sure that you remove the lace adhesive correctly by saturating it with plenty of water. So we're gonna cut off all of that extra lace and just look how flawless this looks. Oh my gosh, this lace like just blended into my skin so well. Um, So yeah, we're gonna be doing some bangs today. I haven't done bangs in a minute. I feel like doing a bang is like the perfect way to switch up, you know, your look. It's just like, bam you know what i mean it's like it's the it's the perfect way to switch up a look so i definitely wanted to do like a bang today so i'm gonna pull some hair to the front and make sure that parting is all nice and straight and even and start snipping away it takes me like a couple of tries to kind of get the right length because i usually like cut them too long at first it's always better to cut too long versus like cutting too short because this is the wig guys like we can't make it we can't we can't make it grow back unfortunately so um yeah <laughs> once you cut too short it's kind of like it's like a, a, a miss from there so definitely cut long first and then if you need to you can you know go shorter and shorter as you as you want I'm also gonna do a little like half up half down style too. So I'm gonna pull up like half the hair into a little bun situation. Um, I use my hot comb to like flatten everything down and a little bit of that got to be high insta hold hairspray. This is like one of my favorite styling products. I literally use this hairspray for like everything. But anyway, yes, we're gonna use a little bit of that hairspray and my hot comb just kind of to 
pulled a half of this hair into a ponytail and I'm gonna do like a little top knot bun but I am gonna leave the ends of the bun kind of sticking out a little bit I was kind of inspired by like the y2k hair trends that are going on like you know everyone's got like little spiky stuff coming out their hair <laughs> but it's definitely like a y2k I was definitely inspired by like the y2k trends like hair trends that are going on And then for the rest of the hair, I'm just gonna go in with my flat iron, straighten everything up, make sure it's nice and sleek. I didn't spend too much time like showing you guys like how I straighten my hair because I feel like, I feel like we all know how to straighten hair at this point. <laughs> so, so I just sped through that, but I did cut the ends of this hair. And that is it for the hair, guys. I love the way that this style came out. It's so cute. Let me know what you think in the comments, of course. Shout out to Icy Hair Company for sending over this unit. And again, I'll make sure to leave all of the information for this hair in the description box. So the hair is done. Let's go ahead and move into the makeup look. So I went ahead and did my skincare off camera, so I'm gonna jump straight into primer. I've been loving this one from Urban Decay. It's their all-nighter primer. It's just been holding on to the makeup so well, and I love it. <laughs> I feel like my makeup just lasts like so long with this stuff, and I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna use that to prime, and then I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I've been using a mixture of the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation and the Glowish Foundation. I just added a tiny bit of the Faux Filter foundation into this mixture because the a glowish one is like slightly too light for me right now so the faux filter one is just gonna kind of deepen it up a little bit I don't like to go in with anything too heavy for my foundation these days I try to keep it you know like light in coverage so I've been using a lot of skin tints and stuff like that but um now that the summer is here and I'm a little bit more on the tan side everything's a little too light so I gotta head on over to Sephora or somewhere to you know get my summer shades and all of my favorite skin tints and like tinted moisturizers and stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah, moving on to concealer. It's my fave, you know what it is. I'm using Makeup Forever's Matte Velvet Skin Concealer in shade 4.1. And um, I'm gonna add that to the inner corner of the under eyes and just blend first with a brush and then I'll go in with my sponge to smooth everything out. I just really like to make sure that the under eyes on the inner portion look really bright because that's kind of where I have like most of my darkness, like right in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna go in with my cream contour. I'm using Huda Beauty's uh, cream. I never know the, is it Tant? It's Tantor, yes, the Tantor. Uh, cream bronzer and contouring cream and I'm using shade tan yes I'm using shade tan um, and I'm using shade tan I love this stuff it's such a good product because it I love this stuff it's such a good product it's like it's like the perfect um, I love this stuff. It's such a good product. It just blends into the skin so well. It like works perfectly as like a base for my bronzer and stuff because it's not too cool, but it's also not too warm. It's like that perfect undertone. This cream blush that I'm using is from Color Drain. It's in shade Spicy. I love, love, love the Color Drain cream blushes. They're so so pretty they're super pigmented so you can build them up to get like a really vibrant look or use a tiny bit to for a little wash of color love these babies so much i'm obsessed with these things like if you're looking for a cream blush definitely try the color green ones. Now we're gonna start setting everything with powder. I'm using Dermablend's Loose Setting Powder. This is the original one. Honestly, like I'm not even gonna lie to you. I slept on it for a little bit. I stopped using it for a while. And then I was going through my makeup drawer and I was like, oh, like Dermablend powder. Let's pull her out. I haven't used her in a minute. And I fell in love with it all over again. It's such a good powder. It's like a truly translucent powder. So it's not gonna alter the shade of your foundation or your concealer. It also blurs the skin so beautifully. Such a good powder to use if you're looking to get like that super flawless look for your under eyes. Then with a little bit of powder foundation, I'm using Huda Beauty's Glowish 
pressed powder in shade number 10 to set the foundation and everything. And for a little bit of extra coverage and brightness for the under eyes, I'm using Max Studio Fix powder in shade NC42. This has kind of been like a new thing that I've been doing using powder foundation for the under eyes, but I love it. I feel like I can use less concealer too because the powder kind of offers like that extra bit of coverage. And then for powder bronzer, I'm using one from Colored Rain. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you've probably seen this a few times. It's definitely one of my other favorite products from Colored Rain. The shade range of these bronzers is amazing. The one I'm using is called Cinebe. So I am gonna bake a little bit using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in shade Blondie. But what I've been doing lately is just baking on the sides of the nose, like not really taking the uh, powder like out too far out onto the under eyes anymore because I already have like that setting powder from Derma Blends there, the MAC powder there. So I don't want to put too much powder like underneath my eyes and like dry my under eyes out. So I've just been baking like just on the very sides of the nose. A super strong like nose contour definitely does not look like flattering on me. I've tried it before. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't work. I don't think it works for like my, my particular nose shape. So I just kind of use like this reverse contour technique. So you're pretty much just highlighting to create a contour type of effect. Then for a little bit of extra color on the cheeks, cause you guys know I love a good blush. I'm using the Be Perfect Shapeshifter palette and taking this orangey and yellow shade from the blush side of the palette and adding that to the apples of the cheeks. Like Painted by Spencer said, if you're not blending your blush into your under eyes, you are missing out, friend. Just give it a try. <laughs> like, just give it a try. I've been keeping it really simple with the brows these days like I haven't really been doing very much with them I prefer like a snatched brow at this point in time usually when I'm doing like a super snatched brow I'll just use a pomade so I don't have to go in with like concealer and stuff like that to clean them up and all this other stuff I can just you know do my pomade do my little brow gel and call it a day So I'm gonna dust off that bake on the sides of the nose and then move into this eye look. The shadows that I'm gonna be using for the eyes are gonna come from the Rebellious Nudes palette from Colored Rain, another amazing product from them. Like if you're into warm toned browns, then I highly recommend this particular palette. They also have an amazing like eyeshadow formula. Like all of the colors are super pigmented and just blend out like a dream. They're so awesome. But anyway, the first color that I use on the lid is called What Rules. It's a really beautiful like warm terracotta shade. Then to blend out the edges, I went in with shade I Do What I Want. It's like a really cute like mustardy color. <laughs> the name is so adorable. It's a really cute like yellowy mustard type of color. So it goes perfectly with like this warm toned kind of vibe that we're going for. Then to deepen up the lid space ever so slightly, I'm going to go in with a darker brown. This shade is Big Girls Don't Cry. And I'm just going to add that onto the lid with the same blending brush. So I really wanted to do a purple liner with this look. So I'm going in with the Sheen Cosmetics Color Festival palette and I'm using the dark purple liner from this palette. I'm just gonna do like a really cute wing. I'm gonna uh, also add a little inner corner wing, nothing too crazy. I just kind of wanted to add like a slight pop of color to this look and I thought a liner would be perfect. You guys have heard me talk about these liner palettes from Sheen before. Like I am always raving about them because it's such a good way to to have like multiple choices when it comes to colored liner without having to do like individual ones. They also have a pastel version of this palette and a neon version. So there's plenty of colors to choose from and you can also like mix shades around. I've done that too. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna do a slight smoky type of look. I'm gonna add a little bit of liner first is kind of like my base. This one is just like a purple kind of shimmery liner from Hard Candy. Then to brighten that purple and make it pop a little bit more, I'm gonna add Add some shadow on top using a little purple shade from this Beauty Bay palette. I just chose a color that I thought would match really well with like the winged liner. 
And that's it for shadow and stuff. I'm just gonna add my, my little mascara. I'm using one from Milk. This is their Kush mascara. It's a really good volumizing one. It makes my little itty bitty lashes look like I got something when I really don't. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a couple of coats of that to the top and bottom lashes. I am gonna be doing a false lash. I'm just gonna apply that a little later in the video. Then for highlighter, I'm using one from Kaleidos Makeup. I've been loving their little highlighters. They're so pretty. This one is in shade Diamond Dasher. Such a cute color. It has like these little like peachy and pink reflex in it. It's really, really cute. I ended up thinking that I was only going to do a nose highlight like I normally do, but later on after I did my little beauty marks, I decided I was going to do some like highlighter on the cheeks. So I went in with a slightly fluffier brush and just added a very small amount to the cheekbones. Nothing too crazy. You guys know I'm like, I love like matte skin these days, but I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling some highlighter on the cheeks today. So I just use that same one from Kaleidos Makeup to add a little bit of extra glow. And then for this lip combo, I'm gonna start off lining using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 Pencil in shade Rich Brown. Love this color. It's like a really beautiful, like warm toned brown pencil. These are like my go-to type of shades. Just something really nice and warm and has some depth to it. Love it. So I'm using that and LA Girls Eyeliner in shade Brown to do like a little bit of extra contouring, nothing too crazy. And for lipstick, I'm using one from Armani Beauty. This is their Lip Power Longwear Satin Lipstick in shade Independence. Been loving these, they're so comfortable. I love a good satin lipstick, like for everyday wear. It's just so much more comfortable than wearing like matte lipstick sometimes. <laughs> like sometimes matte lipsticks can be like incredibly drying. So a good satin one, I like to have it just, you know, anytime I want something a little bit more comfortable to wear. I did also add a little bit of gloss to this look. I used a mixture of two lip glosses, one from Be Bella Cosmetics and one from Soap and Glory. I was definitely feeling like the glitter and like shimmer vibes in both of these, so I just mixed them together to kind of get like a custom shade. Finally, I'm gonna go in with my lashes and setting spray. The lashes that I'm using have been my favorite these days. It's from Ebon. These are their Duchess lashes in style Zorko. And of course, for setting spray, I'm using my favorite from Benefit. This is their Professional Super Setter Setting Spray. And that is the look. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's hair and makeup tutorial. Of course, if you did, let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for watching guys, sending lots of love to everyone and hopefully I will see you in the next one.